Hi, this is Sean, and thanks for joining me today. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about some things that have changed with Google Maps recently. One of the things that just recently changed was that instead of having to go out to Google Maps and create your own maps, now it's been integrated with Google Drive. And there are some really cool things that you can do with Google Maps inside Google Drive using Google Sheets. So I'm going to take a, just a few minutes here and just show you some really fun things that you can do with Google Maps and data from your Google Sheets. Now here I have a couple of sheets already set up. One of them is called Story Locations. And in this Google Sheet, I listed some novels and some settings from those novels as well as the locations where those settings took place in the novel. And what's really fun to do with Google Maps is you can take this information and you can have it set up on a map so that it drops those points on the map and it really creates a great visual for students when they're studying novels and it gives them a sense of oh okay that's where that took place so it really kind of makes a connection for some kids especially if they're visual learners so I've already got this information I'm gonna go close this sheet and I'm gonna go over here to my Google Drive account and click new and under more you now have Google My Maps now from Google My Maps, it's just a couple of short things that you have to do. Now, one of the th first things it tells you is you've got an untitled layer here that's already created. And if you'll look, there's an import link right here. I can import data from a spreadsheet. Now, this happens to be information in my Google Drive account. And I just have to take a short second here to find that. I'm going to search for it under Google Maps. And here we are and here it is story locations so I select that sheet and now it's asking me some information from that it says choose columns to position your place marks so it wants to know where the information is that will tell them where to put the place marks on the map and I've chosen to call my columns location or setting or book location is what we need I click continue now it says pick a column to choose the title for the place mark um, here in this case it's the book and then now it's loading that information and it's going to drop those plot points on the map take a second here and here's our map now so we have all these locations now in addition to this you also have an individual styles link on your story locations what I've done is in addition to the name of the book I've included the setting of the book for each plot point so if I click on individual styles and add the labels setting then you can see that as we go through here we can see that if we, if we click on this link right here this tells us that this is from Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief and the setting is the Underworld Portal and as we click on each one it gives us the setting so this is really nice if you're trying to give kids a sense of when this took place in the novel and where it took place and it's, it's a really great connection for them to have now that's one example. Let me show you one other example of how this can work in class. Let's say it's the beginning of the year and you want to do an icebreaker activity with your kids. So what I've done is I've created a Google form called How I Spent My Summer Vacation. Now like I said, I need my column headers on my sheet to be individual titles like location. So where the question is stated, I just called it location and then on the help text I asked them the question, you know, indicate the city and state where they went. Now, city and state is very important when you're using My Maps. In order for it to place a marker, it needs one of two things. It needs a city and state or city and country, or you can even use latitude and longitude coordinates if you have them. So if you notice in this sheet back here for my story locations, I listed cities and countries or cities and states. And that's how it put the plot point on the map so with this form my form looks like this I can see my form and it's got the name of the student where they went for summer vacation that's my location and then I even asked them you know why what was your favorite thing about this trip so as our students have submitted their answers here are their answers I just got a couple here to work with they have submitted their name where they went in a city comma state and then why they enjoyed that location so now if we go back to Google Drive and click on New, More, and then go to Google My Maps, we can create a map based on 
the response sheet that went with that form. So here I am, I'm ready to import that data. I go to Google Drive, go to my Google Maps folder, and how I spent my summer vacation. We want the responses sheet. That's our Google Sheet that collected the form responses. I click Select. And now it wants to know where to put the place marks. I use the location and I hit continue. And then as the title for the place marks, in this sense, I'm not going to put the name of the student, but I'm going to put the Y and then hit finish. So now it's dropping the plot points. And now when kids look at the map, they're going to see things like the rides at Frontier City or I like going to Six Flags and that's the data that they'll see with these plot points. So if I click on one I can see that and I can see that the name of the student that went was Jack. Okay, and If I scroll out I can see an, in Atlanta the Georgia Aquarium I saw lots of cool ocean life and it was Alexis that posted that or it was Jennifer that posted the rides at Frontier City were fun. So this is a nice little icebreaker activity for the beginning of the year. It just takes your kids a few minutes to fill out the form on their phone or their mobile device. And then you've got an instant point of discussion for the first day of school at the beginning of the year. Well, hopefully this was something that you could use in class. And thanks for joining me. And I look forward to working with you next time.